My name is Clayton. And I'm Jack. Welcome, Welcome to, to Bear, Bear News. first episode of 2021. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I mean, the fact that we survived 2020 is crazy. So much happened, but yet I can hardly remember it all. What you need is a recap. No, no thanks. I, I, I really only drink dark roast. No, not decaf. Recap. You know what? Let me show you the 2020 recap in one minute. Hey, we don't have time to do a whole year review, so we're going to try to do it in one minute. Start the timer. Were you a healthy 18-year-old boy in January 2020? Um, no. Well, if you were, you would have been drafted World War III. The man, the myth, the legend. Rip Kobe. Oh my god, Trump was in a peach. Things were heating up in Australia, and that was just January. On to February. The Chiefs stopped being horrible for once and won the Super Bowl. It's been 50 years, it'll probably be 50 more. We had an extra day for the worst year of our lifetime. And in March. We thought the bird flu was bad, then came the bat flu. Spring break turned into the longest summer break ever. April. Remember when that woman murdered her husband? Tiger King was wild, literally. May, Killer Bee's cousin showed up for a little bit, and nothing happened. June, protests were happening everywhere, and in July, Patrick Mahomes made the largest contract for an athlete of our all time. He got more than a quarterback. Stop talking. <laughs> Kanye 2020 didn't work out. Kanye 2024? August, somebody had a really fire dinner reveal in California. Someone in the neighborhood said it was lit. And uh, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman died. Oh, oh we're out of time. Oh, well, uh, may as well just slow it down and keep going. We all know the real creator of COVID, Zoom. In September, the first presidential no, debate... No, will you shut up, man? An icon for women's empowerment, Ruth Ginsburg, died. October. Halloween was, on, was a blue moon on a Saturday on daylight saving time. I worked on Halloween. Don't have a job. November. Even with 60,000 votes, surprisingly, Kanye didn't win. You know, if there was fraud in this election, it was Kanye not winning. True. December. Astrology girls go wild as Jupiter and Saturn get back together after 800 years. Things are getting chilly down in Oklahoma. And let me tell you about that. My, my car got stuck in the snow. It was wild. Grass, grass got moist. Yeah, the, the yard isn't as good anymore. Oh, no. The government got hacked. Well, that was 2020. Bye. Wow, I forgot half those things happened. There were a lot of ups and downs, but we're still here. That we are. Hey, did you watch the girls' basketball game Tuesday night? I did. Holdenville Wolverines versus the Bears. The Bears pulled through with a 71-63 to score. Good job, Bears. The boys didn't play due to the team being quarantined, so just remember, kids, wear your mask and wash your hands. Unfortunately, the games on Friday was canceled due to quarantining. And just remember, the games will pick up Tuesday with an away game at Carl Albert. And last up on today's episode is the topic of the new grading system. I know I have some questions about it. Well, good thing that uh, we actually have the answers. Wayne and I did an interview with Dr. Myers, and he delivered the knowledge to us in the form of an interview. Play the interview. Uh, hello, Dr. Myers. I'm Wayne Privet. We're here to discuss today the new grading system that was put into effect. Okay. Um, well, Wayne, let me tell you right now, I'm a little nervous. Last time I was summoned to the principal's office was my senior year in high school, and that was for uh, sneaking out a teacher's window to go to lunch early. So just don't try that. At, don't try that, kids. But, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the questions we have today is what does the good, what does this new grading system do? Well, first of all, the, the main thing it does is it, it gives each of the letter grades almost an equal weight. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the old antiquated grading system, an F is from 0 to, to 59, basically. That's mm -hmm. 59 points that an F is worth, while every, every other letter grade is a 10-point variable. So uh, to, to try to, to put forth this new effort and to, uh, to take on this pandemic that we know uh, this nationwide issue with grades and everything with students, is to uh, basically remodel ours a little bit to, to really like a zero to 50 point scale to where each letter grade now has a 10 point variable in play. And then one of the other questions was, does the distance learning have a factor in this situation? It does, and because uh, distance learning is gonna, it's gonna be a different factor for every kid. Some kids are gonna do well with distance learning, so it's not, it's not necessarily set up for them. 
uh, it is for those kids that are that are doing distance learning they're struggling by themselves and at some point they realize that this is not the this is not the vehicle for me I need to be back in brick mortar when those kids transfer back or trans transition back to us it'll at least allow them that maybe we can accommodate and maybe recuperate some of those lower grades and get them to where we need them to be to sum it up, the new grading system helps uh, even out the letter grades and helps the students who are trying but not succeeding. I can't wait to see how useful the system is. I know it's going to help me out a lot. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Clayton. And I'm Jack. Signing, signing off. off. Dude, I'm really thirsty and I went to the vending machine. Uh-huh. And I really couldn't find anything but Sprite. Dude, yes, yeah, same. I'm having a serious issue. We've got more, too. Yeah, and heck, I already drank one, man. But you know what? Yeah, we. what's one more? What? Cheers. Yeah. It's not that good. It's all fizzy. It's very fizzy. But you can't go wrong with Sprite, right? Yeah. Did you already crush that can? I already did crush this can. <laughs> Pretty crushed. On my skull. Why don't we have orange crush in that machine? That's a good question. We should invest in that. We Replace should. those like teas with that, because nobody buys those teas. I mean I did. Well, you don't matter. Dad? <laughs> um no. Frankly, I think we should have more sodas in that machine more regularly. Like I get it, they go to Sam's Club, but you know, every time I go, it's just good old, good old Sprite. Yeah, uh, I'd like to see them put like energy drinks in there. We so used to we used life. to have all those other machines until the companies went and took them out. Although I never got anything out of those machines because um, it was all diet stuff. I like diet soda. It's pretty good. Really? Mm -hmm. The only diet soda I'll ever drink is Diet Dr Pepper. Diet Dr Pepper's pretty good. Um, Diet Coke tastes like garbage. I'm a big fan of Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi. You're disgusting. Oh. <laughs> like Thanks. Coke Zero I get, but Diet <laughs> Coke, Coke... Zero is bad. Seriously? Yeah, I'm letting you chat. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, you're wrong. How about, can we both agree though? Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. I don't think Sprite would sponsor us. Probably not. They'd probably be scared. Um, have you tried like Sprite Zero? Cause that's, 